This Family Life News Podcast is made possible by the support of listeners like you. In the wake of this week's court ruling in Pennsylvania, I talked with Maria Gallagher of the Pennsylvania Pro-Life Federation. Today on our Thursday news feature, we give you a chance to hear more about what Gallagher was saying, not just about the fight against abortion overall, but the current case and where taxpayer funding of abortions could go in the near future. Well, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court has ruled that a lower court must decide whether to allow taxpayer funding of abortion in the Keystone State. In this case, the PA Supreme Court issued a highly complicated decision of more than 200 pages remanding a Medicaid abortion case back to Commonwealth Court. And the state's uh, 3 to 2 decision by the Supreme Court demonstrates the highly divisive nature of the ruling, which involves when taxpayers will be required to pay for abortions. Now, for decades, Medicaid abortions in Pennsylvania have been limited to the rare cases of rape, incest, or to save the life of the mother. But this case opens the door to the possibility for full-scale taxpayer funding of abortion, which would just be horrendous. Do you have official numbers on how many of those abortions happen with the current law? Right now, only a fraction of abortions in Pennsylvania are paid for with taxpayer dollars because of those rare cases of rape, incest, or life of the mother. We're talking a fraction of the more than 34,000 abortions which take place in Pennsylvania in a given year. But we know from research that has been done that if there is taxpayer funding of abortion, the abortion rate skyrockets. And so this is quite alarming. Help us understand, is this a constitutional issue? Is it an end run around the regular form of lawmaking? Where did the challenge first rise up? The challenge was to a long-standing Pennsylvania policy, which ensured that abortions would only be paid for with taxpayer dollars in rare instances. But the abortion industry wants to see full-scale taxpayer funding of abortion for any reason or for no reason at all. And this would include paying for repeat abortions. And we know, sadly, that there are some women who have two, three, four, maybe even five abortions. And this would say that taxpayers would be footing the bill for those abortions. Now, way back when, in the 1980s, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court ruled that there was no constitutional right to taxpayer funding of abortion in what was called the Fisher case. But with today's ruling, the high court threw out the Fisher case, but it was a very narrow ruling. It was a three to two ruling, and there were a number of dissents to that ruling. One justice said categorically that this case was not about abortion. It was about using taxpayer funds for abortion, and that the court got it right in the Fisher case, and the court got it wrong today. We're talking with Maria Gallagher, who is legislative director for PA Pro-Life Federation. Where will this new case be heard or reheard at the direction of the majority in the Supreme Court? The new case will be heard at the Commonwealth Court, uh, which is not so much an activist court as is the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. So we are hopeful that the Commonwealth Court will rule favorably for taxpayers and for pregnant women and for their children. But we know that there's a great danger that we could see taxpayer funding of abortion in Pennsylvania, and that's a tragedy. This question may sound harsh, but I think it really sets the stage for this. Does the abortion industry really need taxpayer money to be able to make money off of the procedures they do and the pills they prescribe? The abortion industry does not need our hard-earned taxpayer dollars. It it simply does not. The abortion industry could be self-sustaining, 
and not rely on taxpayer funds. But believe it or not, abortion is not as popular as the abortion industry would have you believe. And so the abortion industry has been losing in many cases in Pennsylvania and across the country. And so they need money from the taxpayers. They need a taxpayer bailout to fund their gruesome business. And that's what is happening here. Maria Gallagher of the Pennsylvania Pro-Life Federation. I'm Greg Gillespie. This is Faith Under Fire on Family Life News. Thank you for listening to this Family Life News Podcast. If you've been encouraged by what you've heard, please share it with others and click the subscribe button to automatically receive future episodes. Family Life is a listener-supported ministry. Podcasts like this are made possible by your financial partnership. Find out more at familylife.org.